the Eagles. Man, Stan. De Niro 28. We are in, well, we just getting back, man. We're coming from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings watching this game. Um, we live in Jersey, so where we were at, man, it was all Eagles fans, man. We almost, <sighs> man. Man, the, the energy was almost tangible inside that place you felt it it was live i mean the energy i think i think the eagles was was actually feeding off our energy from where <laughs> we were man that place was jumping it was fun man nothing but eagles fan of course where we were at we had this stupid dumb cowboys fans trolling us man sitting behind us he was quiet at the end though we was going at it back and forth but guess what we were warriors there for the Eagles. He couldn't say nothing at the end of the game. We shut his mouth. Oh yeah, I was in there repping. Can't see it, but have my Yeah, that's that Carson Wentz jersey. You can't see it, but I was repping my Wentz jersey. I got my hoodie on. It's pretty cold out, but I got the the Westbrook on. Throwback. Oh me? yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Thirty six. The number that uh, our running back Ajahi is currently wearing, and he I think he's earning the right to to wear that jersey because you know he started off a little sloppy but then he picked oh, yeah. it up see i was like you know what don't give him that ball man he fumbled but dude that was already there he was an eagles fan but he was like no you give him the ball back i was like yeah that's football and he fumbles giving the ball back because it was his first playoff game and and it's a confidence thing that's one thing that we all have to recognize if something happens with a player you know give it give it back to him in that situation you know if they if it doesn't work the second time, then you might have to make a readjustment. But the main thing is that you don't want to cause your players to lose that confidence, and that's one another thing that the uh, waiter said tonight, which made a lot of sense. Yeah, man, let me tell you something. I'm I'm proud of Nick Foles, man. Man, me too. Over 200 yards, no turnovers. That's all I was asking for. That's all I was asking for. We were both nervous about, I mean, old St. Nick going into this you, game. You are not kidding. I'm telling you, bro knows better than anybody that I was kind of uncomfortable with Nick Foles going under center in a situation like this because we've been here before against the Saints and the inaccuracies and things like that really came into effect. But, you know, tonight he stepped it up. His accuracy really improved. He put the ball where it needed to be. He was off a few times, but I mean, the good outweighs the bad in this game, and he really gave us something that he can build on. Oh, definitely, man. Let me tell you something. I was I was proud of Nick Foles. I, I couldn't have been happier for the dude, and I'm I'm just glad he's here. Yep. I'm glad he had a good game. I'm I'm glad of all those dudes, man. Stan, the man. Let me ask you a question, man. How does it feel to eliminate? The Atlanta Falcons, these guys were in the Super Bowl, and we just knocked them out of the playoffs. How does that feel? I still can't believe it. I, honestly, it, it, it hasn't hit me yet. It still didn't hit me yet. I'm happy we won. It, it just, it, yo, it's like unreal. I'm telling you, it, it's it, unreal. I didn't even start my trash talking yet on social media, but yo. Yeah, the Facebook is quiet, man. You can see tum you can see uh, tumbleweeds and, and you can hear the wind blowing, man. I don't hear anybody saying nothing. But guess what? Had we lost the game tonight, it would have been nonstop. I probably wouldn't have been able to go into work tomorrow because they would have let me have it. Let but me, we won. Let me tell you something. I'm proud I'm proud of all those dudes, man. I'm, That's right. I'm proud of them. That's right. They went to war. Every, all the sports analysts. Every single one of them. Everywhere you look all had us losing today everybody even what's his name uh what's the dude that that be with uh the one that loves the cowboys that what's that dude? shannon sharp yeah what's the other one skip bayless i mean yeah that's why i'm shannon sharp he's been riding with us all season long and then he just oh i picked the falcons and uh, then he got off the saddle man he was cool uh, he was right. cool up until that point man like how you gonna do that shannon right how shannon how i mean everybody vegas i'm like all right whatever man like fletcher cox said man we we just gonna keep ringing the bell man week in week out but i will say this if you are better you better not bet against the Eagles again because I'm telling you right now, you're going to lose probably like how people lost tonight, and I know they're upset. I know people that put 
their house money on the line, their utility bill money on the line. Now they might be homeless and in the cold because they betted against the Eagles and lost. Let me tell you something. There's something special about this team this year. I don't know what it is. How do you... This team is, is something different about this team. How do you lose your starting left tackle, a star running back, your uh, starting linebacker? Um, you lost uh, your starting cornerback for like what? Almost half the season. Your uh, your second round pick for the whole season. You lose your uh, reigning MVP quarterback, and then you win a playoff game. So, and a second year head coach, I do it just blows my mind. Well, man. I tell you what, man, hats off to Peterson too, Doug Peterson, man. He resurrected this team after what Chip Kelly did. I'm glad he, I don't have to see his ugly face. And anymore. Howie Roseman. Oh my God, Harry Roseman, the theft. How he stole a Jahi from the Dolphins and brought him on board, man. What a move that was. Got us Timmy Jernigan. Yep, Jernigan. I mean, man, Harry Ro Ro I think the guys in the office front office of the Eagles, they're ready to bring a championship home. Hats off to them, man. Yep, I think they're really ready to bring a championship home. It's long overdue, you know what I mean? And it's time to bring it home and shut everybody up because I'm sick of hearing it. Oh, we got this many rings. Oh, we got this. So old, they're probably rusty. You know what I'm saying? But if we bring up a championship back in the day, it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So let's go and get this ring, beat whoever wins out of the Vikings and the Saints which I think that's going to be a bloodbath tomorrow, you know. But I think I think we're ready to bring it to whoever wins that game. What you say, bro? I'm ready, man. And let me – yo, I'm sorry I got to do this, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> yo, if you were an Eagles fan and you had us losing, and you was like, oh, it, oh, we don't stand a chance. I'm not even watching. Oh, you know, it's, it's Nick Foles, this and that. Are you kidding me? Yo, turn in your card, man. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, man. I got to call you all out, man. Y'all frauds, man. I ain't going to mention no na <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I was a, I was one that gave up on Nick Foles, you, but because... You gave up on Nick Foles, but you ain't say we was going to lose. Yeah, that's true, and too. You, and you watched the game, but I'm talking about all them fans that saying, oh, we, we're, our season's over. All this and that. I'm not watching. Come on, man. Yeah, you're right. I didn't. I didn't take it that far. You know what I'm Yo, saying? Yo, if you did all that, man, and you had us losing, nah, man. Yeah. Come on, and you just and you and and I'm saying if you gave up on us, come on, man. Y'all are some real fans. Man. Take your Eagles badge off because you're not worthy to wear it. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time to ride this thing out. We gotta stick with them through it because I mean we gotta all stay positive and simple positive energy their way because now I mean we're too close who says stuff like stop taking drugs and snorting stuff <laughs> for believing that our team can win it's all types of crap excuse us for being no well this is coming from Eagles fans excuse well this is coming from y'all I ain't gonna mention no names I ain't gonna do that. But all types of haters on I Facebook mean excuse and doubters. Uh, excuse us for believing you know I mean we know Nick Foles ain't the best quarterback out there, but he's our quarterback. And like it or not, we still got to believe in him, and we still got to root for him. And look what he did for us tonight. Yep, as long as he can keep it average under center and give us that percentage that he did tonight, it's going to work, man. It's, it'll, it'll happen because what's, what's happening – both sides of the ball is feeding off of each other's energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the running back stepped up, even though Ajayi and, and Blunt fumbled. You know, Tor Torrey, they stepped it up in the running game. Torrey right. Smith stepped it up. Right. Aguilar, Jeffrey, when he was targeted, he caught it. You know what I mean? Right. It starts to work like a well-oiled machine. We just got to keep the pieces together. That's only, all. Only parts I had to step up today um, <laughs> that was a little rusty, in my in my opinion, was the secondary yeah. and, that, and that defensive line, man. They they got to uh, Matt Ryan maybe once or twice, but uh, overall, they, they, they overall, they got the job. They got it done. They got it done. They started getting in his face, which we talked about. They started sending the blitz packages. Schwartz said, "You know what? Let me send, let me send some heat and and see what he's made out of. See, even Superman has kryptonite. I don't care who you are, you know, under center, you could be a hundred out of a hundred 
as far as completions. But if you have people in your face, it changes the whole dynamic of the game. They started doing that, and it changed the game. Right. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I had to get that off my chest. I'm just, man. Yo, y'all know who I'm talking about, though. Exactly. Don't, get them. Get them. Don't, man. Don't be talking about. Oh yeah, our season's done. What? Get them. Why would you? Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna say it. I'm talking about EDP four four five. Uh oh. Woo! Yo, he said it. He said Look, it, man. I I can't take it, man. Yo, he's going after the head dragon. Yo, <laughs> he always. Yo. I can't I can't listen to fans like that, man. That, come on, don't don't poison our fans. Oh, you guys are sniffing coke if you think we're going to what? Come oh, on. Oh my man. god, did he really did he really take it that far? Come on, man. Yo, if you feel that way, take all your eagle stuff down. Turn in your Eagles jersey. Now, for fans like that, how do you feel after watching what what you just witnessed? I tell you what, man. How do like how would how would you feel right now? I tell you what, all the negativity that I had harnessed before, I'm telling you, it's it's like going. But see, that came over years. You know what I'm saying? But I realized that we have to be patient. And right now, that we have something special. This even though right. even though you know it's it's a different setup of players, we still have some some type of intangible energy that I think is going to take us to the promised land and we have to stay positive and reinforce and back them 1000% because this is our year. This is your team. You got to root for them. You got to bleed green. Uh, I mean, excuse us for, you know, wanting to root for them. We're sorry, you know. I mean, we're snor Ain't no excuse. Look, this is our team. Right. Man, since I wore as a baby my dad said he bought me blue diapers and I drank apple juice. Man, since then I was an Eagles fan. Right. And now <laughs> it's time to pick the badge up and wear it proudly and keep rocking it. You know, I can't take it off. I've been an Eagles fan too long. People can say what they want to say. Oh, you're not going to get a ring and this and that in the fifth. But guess what? I'm going to ride until the wheels fall off because Dang that's it. what I do. I mean, we're doing drugs because we, because we believe? Get the heck out of here, man. I'm an Eagles fan forever. I'm, I'm Eagles all day, every day, forever. Word. Understand Bird that. Bird gang. Bird gang. Understand that and believe that. I ain't doing no drugs because I believe. I believe because I got heart and I believe in this team. The people that say that are the ones doing drugs if they want us. What, what kind of nonsense is that? Right. They're, they're putting that negative energy off on us because they don't believe in their squad. Either that or they're sitting home on the couch watching us play. What? Peters went down. We still balling. Hicks went down. We still balling. Sproles went down. We still balling. Uh, Darby went down. We still balling. Still balling. Uh, we didn't have Sidney Jones, but he came back and we we're still balling. Still balling. MVP quarterback Wentz went down. We still balling. Won a um, playoff game and we're on to the next one playoff game away from going to the big one and bringing one home to Philadelphia. That's all I got to say. And when it happens, you best believe no work for us. We're going to be celebrating. We're going to be all over Facebook making you sick if you hate us. So you might as well just deactivate your social medias right now. If we go, I'm telling you, I'm going. I'm getting on everybody's nerve. It's, it's payback for the, all the doubters right. that sent hate and negative energy our way. It's payback. All you fake fraud Eagles fans turning your, and said we were done, our season's over, all this and that. Yo, you're out. You're out the nest. Go fly somewhere else. Be a Dallas fan. Be whatever. Go watch. Do whatever you want. Word. Get out the nest. That's all I got to say. On to the next. Vikings, Saints. Um, you guys are playing, um, what, tomorrow? Yeah, they're playing tomorrow. Y'all playing tomorrow. One of you guys' last game is tomorrow. And then one of y'all last game is going to be next week in Philly. That's all I got to say. They still got to come to Philadelphia. That's right. But I'm Eagles, man. Stan, I'm out. And I'm the Nero 28. We're on to the NFC Championship. Peace. Peace.